Hi, my name is Jeremy, and today I'm going to introduce you to Luminous and tell you how we're making safety cool and tech fashionable. We're pioneering the space of smart clothing by integrating advanced electronics into your gear. It's designed to save lives by visibility at nighttime. I'm a cyclist. I bike to work. I still do that in the crazy city of Los Angeles. But four years ago, I came within three centimeters of a life-ending accident. That inspired me and made me realize that, first off, I wasn't alone. Every six hours, a motorist hits and kills a cyclist. Even worse, every eight minutes, a pedestrian is killed on US streets alone. The current state of the technology for safety is high visibility clothing, or retroreflectives, or even red tail lights. But these are incredibly limited in their functionality and often invisible from outside angles. And let's be honest, those traditional safety vests make you look a bit like a walking traffic cone. It's time to bring safety into the 21st century. Four years ago, I began my journey, stitching together the first seven pieces by hand in my senior fashion studio. And today, it's my honor to introduce you to Luminous, a brand creating wearable smart lighting designed to save lives. All you have to do is go into our mobile app, put in your final destination, and let us do the rest. Let's simulate what it's going to be like on my ride home from Brooklyn back to Midtown. Let's bring the lights down tonight and show you what it'll be like this evening. Now that I'm illuminated, I can go on my ride. Not only am I visible, but the software is tracking me. So you now know where I'm headed. It knows that I'm going to be making a left onto the Brooklyn Bridge, so it automatically engages a left turn signal when I get to that turn. This means that not only do you know where I am, but you now know exactly where I'm going. Communicating with the drivers with multiple points of contact, including when you're in an intersection where one third of fatal cycling accidents happen, the garment automatically begins to strobe in this danger zone. This keeps you safe and seen. But more than that, we've also added a brake light so that as I slow down, it automatically flashes a tail light so that you can see where I'm going. But we've added a litany of other features that include performance pace lighting. Just put in your target speed, and it'll coach you on your journey with a little light letting you know if you're on your target speed or if you're too slow or too fast. But what this means is that we've, convinced, we've combined advanced hardware with luminous software and an endless opportunity for animation and colors so that we can take virtually any harvestable data and turn that into visual lighting cues, messages, and notifications. This truly optimizes lighting to maximize the visibility. But think for a second about the countless use cases beyond just cyclists, ranging from consumer all the way to industrial and enterprise safety. We've started with our own line of four pieces focused on sports performance and activewear markets of run, bike, and moto. And we've already sold 55,000 in pre-orders to over 300 customers, including cyclists, runners, motorcyclists, walkers, and even one incredibly passionate French unicyclist. But beyond direct-to-consumer, we've had line reviews with some of the biggest brands in the industry. And we have committed POs already from some of these companies. I'm proud to say that this fall, parents will be able to purchase luminous gear at college bookstores across the US to keep their students safe at night. But we're also working with brands that you already know and love through licensing engagements. We can work with these brands to get into countless verticals beyond consumer and <coughs> deep into consumer safety, as well as industrial and enterprise solutions. We've been able to secure these partnerships and include a first announcement today of a partnership with Bole Helmets and Vista Outdoor 
for the world's first truly smart safe bike helmet to be on the market within a year. These partnerships have come because of our veteran team, including my partner, who started the brand Outdoor Tech, which pioneered the space of Bluetooth audio and ruggedized electronics for the outdoors. But we have strong sales and executive experience from some of the biggest companies in the industry, and our product development is from the most respected brands in the world. We're creating incredible garments that not only perform, but look great. We've combined these with advanced software that allow them to transition seamlessly from day to night. These keep you seen and could potentially save your life. But they also do something unlike anything on the road before. They communicate information between the runners, the cyclists, and the drivers. But it also uses that information to enhance your own user experience and coach you through these journeys. I'm proud to announce here at TechCrunch Disrupt that Luminous is out there and we're ready to save lives and work with you. We invite you on our journey and are excited to help you be brighter. Thank you. All right, nice work. Okay, judges, uh, are, do we have any bicyclists or runners who are gonna try this out? All right, Charlie, are you gonna do it? <laughs> sure, so I probably do about 80 to 120 miles of riding a week, and awesome. I commuted here. How many people bike commuted here? There are at least a couple of bikes. Uh, so you have a few potential customers. More than I thought. Uh, my question is, um, if I use this, I then have to commit to that being my jacket or your backpack being my backpack versus um, just having it removable and putting it on the existing jacket because I bike all weather. Um, why is integration into the items better than just easily attachable, removable, and, and all that? And so that really starts from the user's perspective of not having to carry an extra piece. So our bike light already exists on the front of our bike, but we have to replace that or take it off. So this seamlessly integrates without having to think about it, but that's really where we see the licensing opportunities to work with these. Um, and we're creating a couple hardware pieces as well that are in the portfolio. Really cool demo, thanks for showing it off. Absolutely. Um, cool idea too. I imagine since you're, you've got a great goal to save lives and keep people out of accidents, do you have any data yet from the early testing that it does improve safety of bicycles or runners? Does, does it decrease accidents? And, and if you don't have it yet, how much data do you need before that happens? And so we haven't been able to fully vet our own solutions, but we've looked at countless studies that prove that daytime running lights uh, increase visibility countless percents, and it's about a 60% reduction in fatalities of people who use daytime running lights. But as you expand that into the nighttime, there's really some tangible data around the fact that 21% of deaths happen between just three hours of the day. And, and those are truly in the nighttime, uh, with a primary pur reason for those being the lack of visibility. And is there anything particularly proprietary about the solution? Like, what was really hard for you in designing it? And so we've started with proprietary. We've got defensible patents on the hardware. Completely washable. All you have to do is remove the battery, and this goes right in the machine. But it's really the software that we feel is the best piece of our portfolio. We have the ability to not only do turn signals, brake lights, intersection flash, and performance, but we're really the first one to integrate any sort of software into the lighting experience, aside from the indoor smart lights and taking that to the outdoors. Got it. As you think about this, you know, call it five years from now, um, and you're thinking about what, is, what does the product assortment look like? Do you ultimately need to have a full catalog, a full portfolio? And then also on the channel side, uh, do you think you'll primarily be through, uh, through offline retail, or, or what do you think that looks like? And so for the, the offline channel retail, um, we really see an ability to go into multiple kind of in-store experiences because it's a very engaging product. To be able to see it and feel it and wear that it's not a techie piece, it feels just like a normal jacket, requires some point of sale displays, um, and we've gotten great excitement of the, the retailers that want to see how do you integrate this into your sort assortment and really showcase the technology. But as far as the portfolio of products, we really see the licensing being what allows us to expand, and it's almost a Gore-Tex model, where we've got our own private label of multiple pieces that are really well-designed and high-end, but we can use those licensing agreements to expand into those other verticals. Have you ever worn it to a rave? I get that question about 50% of the time. 
Um, and we're actually able to look at how do we integrate with music so it reacts to other inputs. How, how do you think about um, some kind of manual override? So the demo's fantastic, and I'm riding my bike or I'm running, and let's say I decide to go, you know, the street over here is congested, I'm gonna take a right here, and now my turn signal's saying I'm going over there instead. Do you think about that from a safety standpoint of giving the person some control if they decide to change routes? So right here on your garment, you've got the ability to do manual control. So if okay. you don't have a pre-programmed route, you can do that as well. Fantastic. So it's very easy to access those features. That's great. How many hours do you get on a charge? So you get up to 24 hours on a single charge on flash modes, seven hours of continuous light. Uh, it's an 18650 battery cell, so it's very lightweight, easily portable. Any final questions? How many people are on your team right now? So right now we have four, um, including the CEO of Outdoor Tech, Caro, who's my partner, um, and some other members in sales uh, and those verticals, including the tech aspect. And so you're talking to me about licensing, you're also making products, and you're going to sell them retail with four people? And, and so we're looking to expand the team, uh, and that's part of our growth strategy. But because of the inherent relationship that we have with Outdoor Tech, we have a really easy ability to use their existing infrastructure and build upon that. We don't need to create third-party logistics. We already have the relationships with the retailers. We have the ERP system in place. So there's a great foundation for us to build upon. And how many actual products do you have, physical you know, goods, from jackets to pants or what have you not? So we have four products in our initial offering, um, and we'll be able to expand on those. Within that, we have a few different SKUs as far as colorways, um, but we're looking to produce as well hard goods, including some standalone pieces, um, and are excited about those licensing opportunities that aren't within our own sell-through channels, but allow the manufacturing, the sell-through and inventory management to work independently. And, and do you think long-term, the way you're gonna win is through the technology and defensibility and the patents through that route, or do you think ultimately you wanna build a brand that consumers look to when they think about safety and, and cutting edge technology as it relates to activewear and so forth. Which, do you have a sense of which direction you want to go long term? And I'm gonna say it's two part. Yeah. We, we want to build a brand and that's why we started with our own private label as opposed to just saying we're gonna be an OEM partner who's gonna integrate this into the other teams um, and we can build that brand. So powered by Luminous is what brings that brand recognition to the Bole helmets to the new pieces as we integrate with other partners. Uh, but we see that private label really being maximized because of the software. And that's where we can continue to add features. The incredible piece is that the lights are just the medium, but the, the phone is the brains. So as we create new updates, new upgrades and functionality, all you have to do is tap a button and that automatically matriculates to the garment, requiring no new purchases of hardware or updates. Great, well we are out of time. So give it up one more time for Luminous. Yeah, thank you.